I'm talking about nice, nice hotels too. And he'd go up and take a shower, maybe, maybe get something to eat, and come back down and stay in his bus. That's that's Willie. Willie, yeah. I heard that like at like a month after he gets off tour, he likes to sleep in his bus in his driveway. He does. Wow. He does. That's true. He just that's likes his Jay bus. <laughs> He's been on it, lived on it so long until you know. <laughs> that's where his home. Why we, move? Huh? <laughs> we went to Canada one time, and we were on one bus, and Willie was on his, and the crew was on another bus, and we came through customs and came back on, and we went across the line, came back into the United States, and went to a, a truck stop. Well, they got on Willie's bus and, and wanted to search it. Willie had cleaned that thing up. <laughs> but them, the, the drapes and the, floor and the rugs and everything were so saturated with, with marijuana resin <laughs> till, the, till, the, till the dogs alerted on it. Man. <laughs> and they kept him there forever. We was on the phone with him. So, and they kept him there about four hours, and we just waited on him. We didn't know if they were going to let him go or not, you know. And uh, the guy, he told me that the, the custom guy said, listen, if you just give me what you got uh, and $500, all of this will go away. He said, I'm sorry, I got nothing. And they searched and searched. They went through the garbage. They went through everything. They never found anything, so they let him go. When he got back across and the truck stop, the, the customs guy escorted him back, drove behind the bus in his car. We got on the bus, talked to Willie. He was sitting there back in the lounge smoking big old doobie that big around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, they catch him They catch him about it once every two years in, in Texas somewhere. How old is Willie now, though? Willie's 78. He's still doing the doobies. That's right. He's still traveling. And Keeps his mind straight. <laughs> <laughs> and he will till they plant him, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... Every cop in Texas knows if you want to make an arrest or bust somebody, you can get on Willie's bus any day of the week and there's something on it, you know. I mean, everybody knows that. And he don't make no, and you know, they, they find him and he gets in a little trouble and, and he gets him a lawyer and gets out of it and that's that. He's been doing that for a long time. You know, I don't know why they don't just give him a, say, okay, Willie, give us $2,000 a year and we'll leave you alone. <laughs> He's a mess. He's a mess now. What was old Johnny Cash like? Johnny was a great guy, pleasure to work with, couldn't have been nicer to us. I mean, all them guys were actually, you know, you hear a lot about Waylon being an outlaw and this and that. I never saw any of that. They they couldn't have been nicer to me. I mean, they were just- Chris too? Chris too. Now, we, we didn't grieve much about politics, so we didn't talk about politics or religion, but he's a great guy. I mean, he did, we're just a wonderful guy. I mean, all of them were. They, they had their little, ego problems among themselves once in a while, but we wasn't involved in it, and we just grinned and went on, you know. Just, just show me the money. <laughs> they, they, they've they been knowing each other for years, lived together before any of them got famous, you know. Uh, Waylon and uh, and Cash used to room together a long time ago. So, I mean, like, they, they're old buddies from way back, but, you know, they can't. If one guy did an extra song or something, all the rest of them wanted to do one too. You know, yeah. stuff like that. So every sound check was a rehearsal. <laughs> we didn't care.